It's judgment time. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to play out. What is this room? It seems so different. This place is strange, but a different sort of strange than everywhere else we've been. What does it all mean? The door! It, it won't open. Are we locked in? Oh no. Did we walk right into a trap? Impossible! How can we, Defenders of Justice, ever fall into a trap? Locking us in here, huh? I'm curious what his intentions are. This sure is a bizarre looking machine. I wonder what it's used for. I wonder what all these are for. There's 11 of them. Huh. One for each of us, I guess. Who the hell cares about that? Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll knock down the wall if I have to. He chose to trap us here for a reason. I assume breaking out is not going to be easy. So we were deceived from the beginning. Is that what this is? You can hear us, can't you? Why don't you show yourself the end? show up. I didn't expect such politeness. I see you're all getting along quite well as you climb upward. But I'd like to know, have you managed to discover the traitor? It's not as easy as all that. No one's just gonna come out and admit it. But come on, how do we know you aren't lying? I'm more of a seeing is believing guy. Truth doesn't require proving. Whether you believe me or not doesn't change the state of reality. Me, but we still don't know if you're telling the truth. I have no intention of trusting the words of the enemy. Do you really think I'd believe there's a traitor among us? You can choose not to believe me, but eventually your fate will be sealed. You will have to keep moving forward if you wish to stop me. And unfortunately, in order for you to leave this room, there is a task that you will need to perform. Quit being so ambiguous. Why don't you just hurry up and tell us what you want? There is something you must do first. You must erase one of your own. By your own hands. What? Erase? You want us to kill someone? Why would we do something like that? We are comrades, fighting for the same cause. You are mistaken. If there is a traitor in your midst, how can you be comrades? I noticed you didn't specifically say kill earlier. Oh, you'll understand. For now, you must cast your votes. You must all determine whom you wish to erase. A vote that decides who gets erased? You're having us erase one of our own. Is that your game? Erase our own teammate? There's no way we'd do that. Oh, but you cannot proceed until you do. It's not so difficult. Simply erase the traitor. Assuming you figured out their identity, that is. I got a better idea. Why don't I just kick your ass right here and now? I exist on a whole different plane. I believe we've been over this. Besides, you currently do not have the power to defeat me. Huh? Oh, this is rather inconvenient. What's the matter? It looks like we can't use our gifts here. How astute. Yes, as long as you remain here, you won't have your powers. Your abilities are sealed. 
and you cannot use them to escape. There is no choice but to obey and to participate in this little game of death. If you wish to climb the tower and save the world, you'll need to get your hands dirty with the blood of your compatriots. I'll be waiting for you up above. I'm just dying to see you. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> and like that, he's gone. What's that guy's problem? So, let's discuss the situation, perhaps. Anyone got any ideas? In order to proceed, we must erase one member from the group. In other words, the end means for us to kill each other. No, there's no way that should be allowed. We're teammates, aren't we? Why do we have to kill each other? Such a righteous opinion. But no matter how noble it sounds, you're just avoiding the problem at hand. Everyone here is well aware that our true enemy is the end. Isn't it a bit early in the day to make such an important decision? Yeah, there has to be another way out of here, right? You said it. Perhaps we should take a gander at the room again? But if the end is telling the truth, we need to rid ourselves of the traitor. We're still talking about this? Screw this! Whoever the traitor is has two seconds to step forward! Calm yourself! We are playing right into the enemy's hand if we panic! It'd be rather typical if the bloke who keeps going on about justice were the traitor in the end. What? You suspect me? Hey, let's not forget the girl with the accent. She's already putting up an act. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. But I'm not that clever of a bird. <laughs> If you people point fingers long enough, just about anyone can start looking suspicious. Is this really a laughing matter? <laughs> What's it matter if I laugh? I don't trust any of you. I don't suspect any of you either. If you ask me, you're all equally insignificant. Damn. So you're saying that you won't hesitate to suspect or kill any of us? That's quite the philosophy you've got. I thought you'd have a similar mindset, no? I won't deny it. So, what now? There's no way for us to continue until we find the traitor, right? We can't be sure that there's no way to get out just yet. Let's try searching the room once more. I guess. All right, I'll check over there. Will you be fine by yourself? I can go with you. N no, I I'm fine. It, it isn't safe pairing up, you know, if, if there's a traitor here. Oh. At any rate, let's look for an exit. This room can't be completely closed off. There has to be some kind of way out. I hope that's the case. Dun, dun, dun. It doesn't look like there's anything here. If only we could use our abilities, we could tear down these walls. Oh, come now, Toya. You needn't be so violent. Says the girl whose gift is best suited for violence. <laughs> Whatever could you mean? I quite dislike violence. You have such superhuman strength. That's a shame. I would have been glad to count you among my soldiers. <sighs> what? <laughs> All of you, just stay where you are. Huh? What the hell are you doing, George? Oh, shit. Let her go.
George, what are you saying? No, wait. You gotta be kidding. Is this happening? How ironic. Who would have thought that the Anne's words would be proven in this way? George, is this true? Are you? Are you really betraying us? So there really was someone working for the end from the beginning. I'm real scared. What's the meaning of this, George? You were the one most fixated on upholding justice. I, I have my own justice I must uphold. I have things that I must protect. What are you talking about? We're all here in order to save the world. Yes, you are right. However, I know the truth. Ah, such a pity. George Jackman. It seems you don't quite grasp the subtlety that's required for being a turncoat. What? Uh, what do you mean? There is only one way for you all to proceed, and that is to erase one of your own by your own hands. And you must all participate in the vote to determine whom. If even a single one is missing, you will not be allowed to progress. That's... I get it. So if we lose even a single member, we won't be able to get past this room at all then. For instance, if they die on the way. What? Exactly. If you wish to advance, then every last one of you must participate in the judgment. There's no exceptions. That is why you must cooperate, help each other, aid each other, deepen your bonds with each other. And afterwards, you must then erase one of your own comrades after fighting alongside them just moments ago. It's the only way. You say some twisted things. Screw that guy! Says he's peace and then runs away? Yeah, he's gotta learn how to listen. Chicks don't like guys who do all the talking. Well, these things are a bit more in our favor now, right? So, what's it gonna be, George? For some reason, you knew that this judgment thing is the real deal. And that it's the only way we can proceed. But in order for us to commence the judgment, all of us have to be present. In other words, you can't kill the hostage you have. Judgment will now commence. 
residents, please submit your vote. Must we really do this? I don't like where this is going, everyone. I'm not hurt at all. See? Let's stop this. There's no reason for us to follow whatever the end tells us. Hey, I agree with you. This whole thing sucks, big time. But what choice do we have? I mean, we can't stay locked in here forever. Time isn't on our side. Would you be okay if we sat around and let the world be destroyed? That's not what I'm saying. It's just... Do not hesitate. Each of you should all follow your own sense of justice. George! We don't have time to be arguing like this. Let's do it. Is there no other alternative? That's a pretty reasonable outcome. I have no regrets. I have merely acted according to my own sense of justice till the end. May justice's glory be forever! said that there was just one traitor among us. Are you telling me there's more? I can't say for certain. But now that we know there really was a traitor, are we going to be able to trust each other? I'd say it's unlikely, unadvisable even, that we trust each other now that we have seen the traitor wasn't a bluff. It appears the end has succeeded in sowing discord among us. So... Really can't trust anyone, huh? Fine by me. I wasn't planning on trusting any of you losers in the first place. Huh? What's that sound? Are those stairs? Huh? Looks like we have our way out. How honorable of the end. I'm almost disappointed in him. Should we try looking for George? But where would we even start? He disappeared without a trace. And besides, I doubt he made it, judging by the way he was erased. I cannot accept that! So is he... is he dead? 
without a proper body for me to examine. I can't really answer that. Jeez. I mean, we get to keep going, yeah, but I still feel really bad about all this. It really can be helped, can it? Someone we thought was our comrade turned out to be a traitor, plus got me raced. And furthermore, there may be even other traitors to boot. What a pain in the ass. Let's move on, everyone. There's no point in worrying about this here. But... We have a mission to accomplish. If we keep standing here doing nothing, the world might come to an end. We need to keep going. We can't let George's sacrifice be in vain. Joe's right, I think. The game is changing, and we need to adapt to survive. You say that, but what if there is another traitor? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I feel you're being overly optimistic, but I understand what you're getting at. There's no helping it, given the situation. Let's keep going. Who cares if there's a traitor coming with us? Trust no one, and continue to fight by taking advantage of those around you. That mindset makes things easy. So much for one big happy family. All right, let's go. But I believe in every one of you. There aren't any traitors among us. I don't have much faith in any of you. Step out of line and I'll take you out myself. That sentiment applies to you as well. You best watch yourself. I take it no one has any objections to proceeding then? All right, let's go.